Welcome to this video on creating charts in Microsoft Excel. So I've got a set of data here. You might recognize this from any previous Excel videos that I have done. And I want to look at some charts. Now, I know I've seen some of this in previous videos. You see the quick analysis tool. You can see some charts. But I wanted to go through how to do this when you've just got a bit of data right in front of you. So what I'm going to do is I'm always going to select the information that I want to be in the chart. And then I'm going to go to insert in the top ribbon. And that's going to open up my insert options. And you'll see there in the to the left and heading towards the middle, you've got the charts options. Now you can use Excel's brain to recommend charts for you based on the data. So it's going to have a look at it. Or you can have a look and you can see you've got loads of options. Now, when you hover over them, it's going to give you a bit of information. When you click on the drop down, it's going to give you some visual diagrams of what is going on. So it just depends which option you want to go with. Now, I've got a load of products and a load of sales for different months or different weeks. I think it might be. I can't see because I can't see the full set of data. So maybe a bar chart might be quite useful. So let's see what these look like. Now, when I do that, what you will see is it will just start to pick up that information. So let's have a look at columns. Let's have a look at 2D columns. That looks quite interesting. There's a lot of data on there that is struggling to show. So columns and charts might not be the best option. Let's have a look at lines. That's, that's looking better. Line options is definitely looking better to help me see it. But I've still got a lot of data. So what I'm going to do to make this super easy is I'm just going to select the first four sets of data. And it'll know, again, what I've selected. So you'll see straight away, I know you can't see all of that because I am hovering over the selection options there. But you can see already it's looking a bit nicer, a bit easier to work with. So let's just keep it to this four and just go back into the columns and have a look at how they work. So you've got some really nice options there. You can obviously see you have hierarchy as well. That's obviously not going to work for this data. I've got statistical charts. Again, if it's going to work for your data, hover over it, see what it looks like. If it's like, nah, I'm not going to do that then you can obviously just ignore that. Different pie chart options, scatter options, might want to use those. They're quite useful. Scatter with lines. That's quite a nice visual to show a flow of sales um, with straight lines and markers. That's quite useful as well. But let's go back to the line. Let's go to a 2D line, but with markers. So yeah, let's do a 2D line with markers. And I'm going to click on that and it's going to open up that chart. Now, even though I've selected that option, you can see I've got other options to play around with from a styling point of view. And obviously, if I don't like that, I can just delete it straight away. I can add extra information on here. I can try another chart because all of my data is still there. This is a totally different thing. If I click and move it around, you'll see its own, it's its own image that's looking at my data. So if I change my data, let's do instead of 200, let's do 500. And that should change on the system. Let's make a much bigger change to see a much bigger difference. There you go. It's popped up there. That's a grey line. And it's made a difference, even though I've already selected my chart, but I've gone back in and played around with my data and it's made that change for me. Now, to make changes to the chart, because I've gone back into my data, I need to click on it. And then if you look at the ribbon at the top, you have chart design. So that's the option I'm going to be looking at. So on the right hand side, we've seen in the middle, you can change the styling if you want to. I'm just going to go back to the one because I didn't like that one. You can switch the rows and the columns around, so swap the axes over if that works best for you. Again, just playing around with it, select different sets of data. You can change the chart type. So remember I said you can go back and you can change a different one. You don't actually have to delete it. You can change 
the chart type here and you can move the chart. So you can move it into a new page or anything else, which is quite useful. For the left hand side, you've got changing the colors. You can add chart elements, so you can add different data axes. So if you want to label your, um, your information going up and your information going across, you can label those. You've got a chart title in there, but you can add other things like data labels, error bars. You can add grid lines, lines, legends, lots of different things that you can do and quick layout as well. You've got some, again, if I'm hovering over it, it's got some preset examples to show you of how you might present your data. So most of the work is done for you, which is really, really great. You can just select which one works best for you. Some of these have titles on. If I click on that one, it is hidden. But if I move my cursor, there is a axis title on the left hand side. There you, so you can see it on that one. There's an axis title there. It's lost its chart title though, but even if you do a quick layout, you can obviously go in and add elements from that. So really, really nice and easy to work with to make your charts do whatever you need it to do. And obviously you can make these bigger if you want to. I'm just going to expand this out, make it bigger. I can make it smaller depending on where you're going to put this, what you're going to use it for and all of that stuff. You do have a few buttons here, filters. Um, again, if you forget them, you hover over them. You've got your elements, your styles, and your filters. So you don't have to go to the top. You can go and have a look there. So you've got some really nice things to play around with. And if you just double click on things like the chart title, you can go in there and add a title. So let's do sales figures. Bit of a spelling mistake in there. And I can just get rid of that pop-up bar that's come on the right-hand side. So really nice and easy to work with on that one. What you can also do with your chart is you can right-click to see some more options. So when you're happy with what is going on, when you've got your titles there, when you've got your axis titles there, when you've got your styling right and you know the data, you've got the ability to do a couple of things. You can change the chart type in here as well. You can select data and move the chart. You can save the chart as a picture, which is quite useful if you're happy with the data. It's not going to change and you want to pull it into a presentation or anything else. Just drop it into an instant message and send it on. But what you can also do, if you're going to pull off this data loads of times and you're always going to be wanting this sort of table, you can save this chart as a template, which is quite really, really useful, especially if you've gone in, you've changed it, you've got your brand colors on there, you've got the styling right, you've got the formatting correct. You can save it as a template so that the next set of data you've got coming in, you can use this rather than having to go and create it all and remember which options you selected. So let me just click save as a template. And it's just going to save it into my computer. Just put chart template one and click on save. And once you've done that, just to go and find out that so you know exactly where it is. If you're again looking for a different set of data this time, so let's select this set of data and you think, right, okay, I want to have a chart for this set of data. If I go into my charts at the top, I can't see anything. If I expand this and click on all charts, what you'll see is templates. And now I save that as chart template one. So this is the template that the system is going to use. It'll look exactly like the other one. I'm just going to click on it and then click OK at the bottom and it's just pulled in and I've used that template. So I don't have to go in and change anything else. If I just move that out of the way to the side, you can see it looks exactly the same. Obviously this one's a bit bigger. So let me just make that smaller so I can stick them side by side. And you can see that they, whoops, let's just undo that and move the wrong bit. Definitely make sure you grab an open area so you're not moving the data. Obviously, the lines look different because there's different information in there, but everything else looks pretty much the same. The one thing I don't is I don't have the headers in there, so it doesn't know 
the dates and stuff that I'm going on, but it does know um, the information, which is why it's missing the Septembers at the bottom. But I can use that template as many times as I want to, and I can create as many templates as I want as well. So if you do this a lot, you might want to create some charts and bespoke them to whatever you want them to be. And then remember, right click and save as template. And then when you're going to insert a chart, click on that little sort of box with the arrow pointing to open up the other charts and you'll see templates there towards the top and you can go in and select whichever template works for you and if I just move this box up a little bit so we can see it it's missing a bit at the bottom you will just see in the bottom left of this pop-up box you've got manage templates so let me click on that and just show you what that one does so it's gonna just pop into my thing here, and you can see I've got the template there. I can obviously delete that at this point. I can open it with different things, but I'll probably just delete it and create a new one. So a couple of things for you to play around with there. If you're gonna do lots of charts and you want a specific style and stuff, then chart templates work really well for you. But just remember you can hover over them and just play around with them. And the system will just give you a snapshot of the data and select whichever one works best for what you're trying to show. And remember to right click for those extra options once you are happy with your chart. Have a got that one? Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like to record next.